In 2014, Josh and his twin sisters Hannah and Beth invite their collective friends, Sam, Mike, Jessica, Emily, Matt, Ashley, and Chris, to the Washington Lodge on Blackwood Mountain for their annual winter getaway. During their celebrations, some of the group conspire to play a prank on Hannah, who's romantically interested in Mike. While Josh and Chris are passed out drunk in the kitchen, Mike invites Hannah up to his room. Unbeknownst to her, Jess, Emily, Matt and Ashley are hiding under the bed and in the closet. As Mike convinces her to start taking off her clothes, Jess accidentally reveals the presence of the group and by doing so, humiliates Hannah just as Sam bursts in to warn her, finding out that it was too late. Hannah runs out of the lodge and into the snowy woods as everyone runs after her, trying to apologize and convince her to come back. Beth suddenly appears after hearing the commotion and asks them what happened. After learning that Hannah has been humiliated, she angrily tells them off and chases after Hannah. As Beth finds her way in the middle of the woods, she finally locates Hannah crying in the middle of a small clearing and comforts her. Suddenly, they hear a violent noise and run from an unseen pursuer. As they're cornered at the edge of a cliff, Hannah slips and falls while holding Beth's hand, taking her down with her. Beth manages to hang on to a large branch at the edge of the cliff, holding Hannah with her other hand. An unknown man crouches by the edge of the cliff and extends his hand to help them, but Hannah and Beth both fall to their apparent deaths, never to be seen again. On the one-year anniversary of the disappearances of Hannah and Beth Washington, the remaining seven friends accept Josh's invitation back to the mountain and make their way there. As the group separates to partake in their own festivities, their seemingly idyllic getaway begins to quickly turn sinister in more ways than one. Mike and Jessica head to a guest cabin for some alone time, and Jessica is kidnapped by an unknown creature. Mike chases after her in an attempt to save her. Depending on his choices during the chase, he either finds her dead or alive, but she disappears as the elevator she's laying on falls down the shaft. Mike then follows a mystery man whom he believes killed Jess to an abandoned sanatorium, in which he explores and discovers information about a mining accident in 1952, which resulted in miners being trapped following a cave-in. Experiments and studies were done on the survivors by doctors at the sanatorium, and a reporter ran into trouble trying to find out more on the cover-up. Ashley, Chris, and Josh use a Ouija board to communicate with spirits and purportedly receive communication from either of the Washington twins. Josh, convinced that either Ashley or Chris are messing with him, storms off. Chris and Ashley investigate the clue that the spirit communicated, but Ashley and Chris are knocked unconscious by a mask-wearing psychopath and Ashley is kidnapped. Chris tracks her down and finds Ashley and Josh on the deadly end of a jigsaw-like trap and must choose between saving one of them. His actions result in Josh being violently bisected by the trap, and afterwards a traumatized Chris and Ashley flee. After learning of a maniac on the loose, Matt and Emily travel to the cable car station to get help but discover that the keys are missing. The couple then locates a radio tower and call the mountain rangers for help, who inform them that assistance won't arrive until dawn at the earliest. An unknown creature tries and fails to enter the tower and then causes the structure to collapse by cutting one of its cables, sending it toppling into the mines. In the chaos that follows, Matt discovers Emily in peril on the destroyed fire tower and is forced between trying to save her life or jumping to safety to save his own. Regardless of his decisions, Emily falls with the collapsing tower deeper into the mines. Matt either escapes and also ventures deeper into the mines, or will be killed by the creature. Meanwhile, Sam is stalked by the psychopath and chased throughout the lodge and is either knocked unconscious or escapes into the killer's workshop. In continuous interludes, a psychiatrist, Dr. Hill, conducts an interview with an unseen figure, asking questions as the narrative progresses. In each interlude, Dr. Hill's office grows more grotesque and dilapidated, reflecting the choices the player makes during each interview interlude. Depending on the former choices of the player, Dr. Hill himself may change in appearance, becoming sickly and maimed. Eventually, he is revealed to simply be a hallucination in the psychopath's mind. 
As more sinister events unfold, the psychopath captures Chris and Ashley, and gives Chris the choice to sacrifice himself to spare Ashley, or shoot her to save himself. After revealing the gun is unloaded, the psychopath reveals himself to be Josh, who faked his death and was playing a prank on the group the whole time in retaliation for the prank that indirectly caused Hannah and Beth's disappearance the previous year. Mike confronts him, but Josh denies killing Jessica. Mike and Chris capture him and leave him tied up in a shed. In the abandoned mines, Emily is shown to have survived her fall. She may find Beth's head and learn that Hannah had actually survived the fall off the cliff. She encounters the stranger that Mike had followed, who helps her escape from the creature. In her escape, Emily can be killed or manages to get back to the lodge. As the friends uncover clues about the past, the stranger confronts the main group at the lodge and explains to them that he is a protector of the mountain, which is infested with tall humanoid creatures called Wendigos. They were created when caved-in miners engaged in cannibalism in order to survive. The stranger explains that they will not be able to escape to safety until dawn, which is when the Wendigos cease their hunt, and there are only a few ways to kill Wendigos, such as by fire. Chris and the stranger decide to rescue Josh, but discover that he has vanished, the stranger is decapitated by the Wendigo soon after. Chris either makes it back to the lodge or is killed by the Wendigo before making it back inside. Sam, Mike, Ashley, and the remaining survivors flee to the lodge basement for safety. Mike returns to the sanatorium in search of Josh, hoping to find the key to the cable car, but encounters dozens of Wendigos, which the stranger had imprisoned there, forcing him to destroy the sanatorium to escape. Meanwhile, Sam discovers more information about the Wendigos from the stranger's notes and follows him. They eventually find Josh in the mines suffering from extreme hallucinations. He willingly gives them the key. Mike and Josh help Sam reach the surface, but Hannah, who is revealed to have turned into a Wendigo after being forced to eat Beth's body, intercepts them. Depending on the player's choices, Josh will recognize Hannah and she will drag him away, if he doesn't, Hannah will kill Josh. If Matt and Jess are still alive at this point, they have separate encounters with the Wendigos in the mines and attempt to evade them and reach rescue. Meanwhile, Sam, Mike, and whoever is alive between Ashley, Chris, and Emily, regroup at the lodge only to find it overrun with Wendigos, including Hannah. The creatures, which are now fighting amongst themselves, cause a gas leak, the survivors ignited the gas with an electrical spark. This causes an explosion that destroys the lodge, kills all of the Wendigos, including Hannah, and can result in the deaths of all the remaining survivors, including Mike and or Sam. Outside, at dawn, rescue helicopters arrive to take the survivors away if any of them survived. In a post credit scene, the group conducts interviews at a police station where they explain their story. If Josh has survived it is revealed that he is cannibalizing the stranger's body, leading him to transform into a Wendigo. If at least one other protagonist survives, two police officers will explore the mines and discover a half-turned Josh, who spots them and seemingly prepares to attack them.